the end of last year, we unveiled an outrageous plan for 2016. Providence has been saddled with over a million dollars in mortgage debt, and quite frankly, we're tired of it. As leaders, we believe that it would please God and serve our mission to retire that debt this year. And the way the church could do that was to give generously and sacrificially. In addition to renewed focus on prayer and developing leaders, we decided to unveil Decrease to Increase, or D2I, our strategy for increasing giving toward the debt so that we can best fulfill God's mission and vision. At the beginning of this year, Providence Church owed $1.7 million on our building. We were paying almost $18,000 a month, almost 40% of which went straight to interest. Can you imagine what we could do with $18,000 a month? We felt like God was calling us to overcome this hurdle in order to focus more resources on things like church planning. And what we've seen in 2016 has been amazing. Providence's people have given like never before. We've seen so many new givers, so many sacrifices made by families, and so many commitments to our mission that our church will never be the same. Over the past year, we've come up with lots of ways to raise money for D2I. We've had a church-wide yard sale, a car show, and a new batch of Providence t-shirts, not to mention the vast number of ways that individuals have used their gifts and talents to make a contribution. Above our normal budgetary giving, you've given over $337,000. That is truly amazing. However, combined with our saved interest, it only gets us about one-third of paying off the debt. We've only got two months left in 2016, and we're only one-third of the way to our goal. In fact, as of October 15th, we still owe $1,051,000. Sounds impossible, right? Well, that's probably because it is. Since the beginning stages of D2I, we've known that the only way this could happen was through a miraculous work of God, through us. If it was just up to us, it could never happen. While we all still absolutely need to give above and beyond, everything from the small contribution to the generous sacrifice of the wealthy, we want to acknowledge what Philippians 2.13 says, For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for His good pleasure. We want to petition God to work in a miraculous way to help us retire this debt. So what's the miracle we're asking for? It's God working in the hearts of Providence's people in an undeniable way. The miracle is us sacrificing the things we can see to gain the things we can't see. Like Jim Elliott said, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pray now and for the rest of the year that God does something miraculous in us and through us. In this year in which the staff has foregone raises, when we've slashed budgets, when we've done our best to humbly say, God, we want this for your mission, not to increase ourselves. We're asking God to move in the lives of our people in such a powerful way that the world can't deny His miraculous work. Why is this urgent? Why has this been the focus of our prayers and the emphasis of our budget? Well, it's because of the things we talked about in the earlier video. We want to do those things, give to world-changing organizations, plant churches locally and internationally, and introduce people to the life-saving gospel of Jesus. And we want to put all of our resources toward those efforts instead of toward paying off a mortgage. So as we end 2016, as we approach the finish line, let's pray earnestly together that God does something miraculous among us. And let's finish out the year giving like never before so that we can do more than ever in the mission of Jesus.